The first super sport action at Imola in over four years goes lights out. Federico Caracasulo from Paul. Not a good start there from Nicolo Bulliger, and he's crowded out immediately by Yari Montella, firing through from the second row of the grid from fifth and up into second. He moves through on Stefano Mamsi, who just about uh, keeps it on the island for third position. A few riders going off there into the gravel trap at Tamburel. I think Luca Mayas might have been among them. But up at the front, it's Federico Caracasulo leading from Yari Montella. Mamsi now will try to make the pass down the inside and does so successfully. And Caracasulo is offline. And oh, Mamsi clips him, and down goes Caracasulo into the gravel trap and more than likely uh, out of the race certainly out of contention Federico Caracasulo is bundled aside from the lead yeah out of the race because in super sport now you can't recover and get yourself back into the points like you might have been able to do in the past looked like there was a bit of a moment there for Tuli as well on the exit of Toza so Caracasulo uh, dropping out of contention up at the front and it's Stefano Manzi who leads the way now. Yari Montella in second. We wonder if there might be any action potentially taken uh, against Manzi for that. So we wait to wait to see. Uh, Manzi for the moment holds track position up front ahead of Yari Montella. Marcel Schrotter trying to close him down now for P2. Nicolo Bulliger watching on as all the chaos unfolds up at the front of the field. Schrotter side by side now with Montella for P2 as they make their way up to the top of the hill at the Variante Alta. Schrotter through quite nicely now for second position. Manzi had a big moment through Aqua Minerali as well. His feet were off the pegs. And unfortunately, um, this is the uh, early state, the incident there in the early stages of the race. And uh, Federico uh, Fellini involved in it. And we're going to see right exactly what happens. And you're going to just see uh, just everyone ends up collecting into one another. That's Fellini that's just pinched on the outside, but it's not really an incident that's caused by him. It's further inside that's actually happened. Budok is trying to attack into the chicane.